Let's talk about vitamins. We're going to look at the fat-soluble vitamins, vitamins A, D, E, and K, and we're going to look at the water-soluble vitamins, what I call the Bs and C. That's the B vitamins and vitamin C. We're going to look at the chemical forms of these different vitamins. No, you don't have to memorize them, but for the geek amongst you, sometimes it's fun to look. We're going to compare the differences between the actual categories of water-soluble and fat-soluble within the body. We're going to look at the recommendations. We'll look at the functions of the different nutrients, what happens when there's a deficiency, when you're not getting enough, when there's toxicity, overconsumption of a nutrient, and we'll look at the major food sources. Let's go. These are some of the water-soluble vitamins. Thymine, riboflavin, niacin, vitamin B6, folate, also known as folic acid, vitamin C, and vitamin B12. The water-soluble vitamins, after you consume them and digest them, once they get into the small intestine, they're absorbed directly into the bloodstream. They circulate and travel and are stored within the watery compartments of the cells. They're what's called hydrophilic or water-friendly. They like being in water. They don't separate out from water as opposed to the fat-soluble vitamins, which we'll discuss as being hydrophobic or water-fearing. Excess vitamins are excreted in the urine, which means that whatever your body doesn't need, your body will get rid of. It's said that Americans have the most expensive urine in the world. Without adequate intake, deficiency signs and symptoms will develop more quickly. And this is more quickly than opposed to fat-soluble vitamins, which I'll discuss in a second. Toxicity is possible, although the symptoms associated with toxicity are shorter-lived once you normalize your intake. So once you stop taking those supplements, the toxicity symptoms will reverse. Fat-soluble vitamins, vitamins D, A, K, and E, are absorbed directly into the lymphatic system. After digestion and absorption, they are combined into the chylomicron along with fat and transported in the body. They tend to be stored in fat tissue, hence fat-soluble vitamins. These vitamins are hydrophobic or water-fearing. This is why they are transported and absorbed in a different manner from water-soluble vitamins. Whereas the water-soluble can go directly into the bloodstream, the fat-soluble vitamins have to be combined into the chylomicron and are absorbed into the lymphatic system and eventually get deposited inside the cells. Without adequate intake, deficiency signs and symptoms will occur, but they'll take longer. Because these fat-soluble vitamins are stored in the lipid, you need to have lipid tissue break down. Toxicity is possible. As a matter of fact, there tends to be a higher risk of toxicity with fat-soluble vitamins, and I'll talk to you about them. And it tends to take longer to get rid of these symptoms, even when intake is returned to normal. Again, because these are stored in the fat tissue. So fat tissue needs to break down, and the body has to use these vitamins before, before symptoms will disappear.